In today's video, we're gonna be stretching it out and showing you how to do a simple stretch slide transition like this. In my project bin, I'm gonna right click, new item, adjustment layer. Hit OK. For this transition, I want to make the duration one second. And with the adjustment layer highlighted, I'm going to go up to clip and do speed duration. Alternatively, you could hit Command R on Mac or Control R on Windows. And if you're unfamiliar with time code, this is hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. But to make this one second, I'm going to switch this four to a one and this to zero. Hit OK. Now I want to bring this down to my sequence and I want to find the middle of this adjustment layer so I can split the difference. In order to do that, I'm going to bring the adjustment layer over to the beginning of the timeline and you can see that right here it stops at the one second mark. So the middle would be right here and I'm going to hit the M key with the adjustment layer highlighted to create a marker. Now I'm going to move that and it should snap to the middle of these two clips. And personally, I like to add a second marker in between both of the clips on the timeline so the midpoint shows up in the effects controls window. Now that we have this set up, let's bring up our effects window by hitting Shift 7. The three effects we're going to be using are Offset, click and drag that over to the adjustment layer, Transform. Another way to add it to the clip is by having it highlighted and just double clicking. And the last one, Directional Blur. Now the first thing we want to do is the movement of the two clips. So I'm going to take my playhead to the very beginning of the adjustment layer, toggle and animation on for shift center two. Now take my playhead to the very last frame. I'm gonna create a little bit more space here so I can see what I'm doing and hit another add remove keyframe. For this example, I'm going to be going to the right. So I click and drag here over to the right one full frame of the video. If you do this manually, you could mess up and have a little bit left over. So what I like to do is bring up my calculator. And because I know that my sequence is 1920 by 1080, this 1920 is the horizontal so I can take that and add it to my 960. 960 plus 1920 equals 2880. So if I put in 2880 here, now I get a full shift of the complete frame. The next step is to add some smoother movement. So to see what we're doing, I'm gonna click this little down arrow, highlight both of my keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, right click, temporal interpolation, ease out. Now we have a exponential curve, but I like to pull these handles into the very center so we get something like this. And already we have a slide transition, but this is a stretch slide transition. So let's add the stretch. Moving on from the offset, let's go to transform. I'm going to unclick uniform scale and we're gonna be manipulating the scale width. So I'm gonna hit the down arrow on this, toggle on animation for scale width. Now this is completely to taste how wide you want to make it, but just to keep things symmetric, I'm going to do 200. Now I'm going to go back to <laughs> the beginning of the pretty funny still frame, and we want to make sure that we start out at 100 and end at 100. So we get something like this now. But we want to make sure that we mimic the offset curve right here. In order to do that, again, with all of the keyframes highlighted, right click, ease in, right click, ease out. Now we want to have this type of steep curve in the middle. And in order to really fine tune this, I'm going to move my cursor down here at the bottom, make it big and pull the handles in to the center like this. We basically have our stretch slide, but I think it looks even better with some directional blur. We could do blur length to see what's happening. Right off the bat, what you should notice if you are going sideways is that the blur isn't going the correct way. So if I go here to direction, we need to switch this so it's horizontal. Instead of having it zero, I'm gonna type in 90, and now we have a horizontal directional blur. And again, this is to taste here in the middle how much of a blur you want. So so maybe we'll do something like 40. And don't forget that you want your beginning and ending keyframes to be zero. The only issue is the blur, again, does not match what the movement is doing. It's getting too blurry too quick. I'm gonna click the down arrow on this blur length, highlight all of the keyframes, right click, ease in, right click, ease out. And again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our scale and pull the handles for our keyframes in so they mimic that steep curve. Now we get our final result like this. Now that you have the general idea of how to do a stretch transition, just take those concepts and do any direction really. As an example, with my preset pack, I have a whole variety of stretch slides. So if I wanted to do a stretch slide up, all I would need to do is stretch up A, put that on clip one, and stretch up B and put that on clip two. We get the same concepts as before, except we're just stretching it upwards. Another really cool thing that you could do is diagonal. So let's do something like stretch right down. I'll take that A and the B, and let's see what this looks like. 
pretty cool, right? So if you want to save time doing something like this, you could download my presets in the description below, or I just showed you how to do this for yourself. Either way is cool with me.